Hello guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Sunday at like six o'clock. It's the end of the day, kind of. I just got back from a spin class. Who do I think I am? It's actually Swift Sunday. So it was a Taylor Swift themed spin class and it was actually so fun. I was very scared. I was genuinely very nervous for myself. I haven't done a spin class in so long, but Leandra's been asking me to go with her for a while and I was like, you know what? I may as well go. It's a long weekend. So this isn't like a full Sunday Sunday, you know? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I did it. I successfully managed to complete it. I was very intimidated, but I am proud of myself for pushing myself to get out of my comfort zone, go to a workout class, and I had a great time. I had so much fun. I might go back next Sunday. Anyways, now we're home. I am going on a date in an hour, so let's get ready. So I showered and washed my hair there, which is kind of amazing, because now my hair is like 90% dry, and I can just quickly blow it out with my air wrap. That's a big step out of my routine here. So, I would like to say, out of nowhere, I suddenly entered my dating era. You know, I really didn't care that much, and then suddenly, my friend Sarah was calling me the bachelorette. And there have been, there have been men. I've actually been having a lot of fun with it, like just enjoying meeting new people, seeing what I like in people, going on cute dates. Like, I've been having a good time the last couple months. I don't know what I'm trying to attempt to you know, do this while I'm also doing my hair at the same time. I think I'm just gonna do my hair and then we'll discuss it. <laughs> okay, we will touch up the hair after makeup. So, essentially the last, I don't know, couple months, I have been playing Bachelorette. It's actually been crazy, like I would say since July, there's been like, a, <laughs> this feels funny to talk about. I have been going on a lot of dates with different people too, which is not, something I've really ever done. I'm kind of like a one person gal, but the dating world is crazy. And unless you like talk about being exclusive, like people are likely going on other dates too. So I was kind of like, you know what? I'm gonna get to know people until I decide I only wanna get to know one person. First time in my life I've literally ever done that. And it has been a crazy experience. There was one guy who I was seeing pretty consistently there for a second. And this was the greatest guy I've ever met. Like, I only have the best things to say about him. He is the greatest. Like, just the nicest guy. He did literally all of the things that I would want in a partner. Like, he was so nice. Just an absolute gem. A gem, this guy. But with, like, continuing to see him, I started realizing I just don't think long term he's the one. Like, I just wasn't getting the butterflies that I wanted to have by a certain point and so I have to have that conversation with him and be like I just don't think I'm you know at this place that's where it gets hard with dating is like having to just dis discuss things like that like I'm really oh it was really hard but once I realized that I didn't think my feelings were going to progress anymore it's the right thing to do is have that conversation as hard as it is and he was the best he even said that if I was ever up for coffee or anything that he would love to like keep in touch and he was so nice like you know I don't know, maybe things will change and then he can be the one, I don't know. It's super interesting, obviously, like dating and with dating more people, you learn more about yourself, first of all. I learned more of what I'm looking for, for dating him. He was, oh, he was so good. But then I met guy number two and guy number two threw me through a loop. He threw me through a fucking loop. I don't even wanna like go into this because it's just like still, Fresh? No, it's not even fresh anymore, like it's fine. But I never get like super carried away with people. I got carried away with this one. I got carried away and it was really interesting to see the contrast also of like, you know, someone that was super stable to someone that was definitely not gonna be stable and how I felt through it. This feels really crazy to talk about right now. I feel like I probably shouldn't. Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll save this story for another time. I think that feels that feels right. I'm not entirely sure where that one's gonna land at the moment. And I'd rather know where it's landing before I go into it. But then there was another guy. Uh, this guy actually, my grandmother set up. Like, this is from my grandmother. Her best friend had a single grandson, tried to set us up in 2020. We spoke on the phone for like an hour and then everything got shut down and we never ended up meeting. And then we had two random run-ins in the wild, like in the last month, like twice I've seen him on the street, which is insane. So finally he was like, okay, like, let's go for drinks. Like, let's make this happen. So that was a few days ago and he was plenty nice. He was a gentleman, but there were too many long-term things like right off the bat that we were not compatible on. So when he asked me out again, I have to say, unfortunately, Unfortunately, I don't think we are a match. Horrible. I literally hate having to do that part of dating. Like, <sighs> but I refuse to be somebody that ghosts somebody because I don't want that done to me. And so I won't do it to anyone else despite how difficult it can be. And tonight 
is a new one. <laughs> He's new but old. Like it's kind of crazy being back in the city and you know, obviously I have a past here. I grew up here. I went to high school here. Like I know a lot of people in the city and it's been interesting also dating because all these people from my past just keep popping up that I have completely forgotten about and then suddenly here they are and now we're going out. This is somebody that I knew when I was 14. I actually didn't recognize him right off the bat but he messaged me and he was like, hey, I think we know each other. And then we talked about what we could remember from those days, which was not a lot, at least on my end. We've been talking since then and now we're going out. It's kind of weird going on this many dates with so many different people because I've just never done this that it feels really out of my comfort zone, but I'm getting used to it. Like I'm having fun. I'm having a good time. I'm going to really cool places, doing really fun things. It's kind of a vibe. I feel like at some point in our lives, we just have to do this. Like we have to play Bachelorette. Please don't, I'm like completely kidding for the most part. Oh no, I'm having a good time right now. I'm learning a lot about myself and that's a win in itself. Anyways, what do I get right now? Um, I got like 20 minutes. So we're just gonna speed through this and listen to Tasha's voice note. I got that literally while I was on a boat. It's so weird. So I'm just kind of like, what did you decide? Are you gonna respond? Sorry, part two. I'm like, does first of all, your boat day looked fucking insane. Like, but then, you know, I'm in those same shoes. And what did I do? I, but also at the same time, I like, what do we do? <laughs> Predate vibes, always take a shot. I smell that, that's okay. Cheers. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, now we're gonna go. Wish me luck. guys it is actually 11 a.m i stayed in bed until 10 i woke up at like 8 my body just doesn't let me sleep in anymore and it's quite rude like i could sleep in today why why <laughs> i went to bed at 3 in the morning that is unacceptable it's unacceptable I, i'm gonna i gotta be honest i have not been like on top of my game the balancing act of life has been off for the last month or so i'm quite distracted but i decided Today's Monday, but it's like the Sunday. You know, it's a long weekend. I've decided tomorrow morning I'm getting up and I'm getting back into like my best self. Not that I haven't been like a good version of me, but like I wanna start doing better things. Like, I just feel like I've been so chaotic. Like my brain is everywhere at all times. I went on my date last night. We went to Bar Chef. It was actually really sick. I had never been there before. I think it's like a just upscale cocktail experience is what I gathered. It was like really dark, like vibey in there. Very cool spot. And then we ended up hanging out until like, 1 30 and then he called me an uber which i always love when the guy offers to get you your uber home i just think it's a nice little move it's been fun picking up what i was talking about yesterday like it's actually been very fun dating the last couple months because i really just wasn't actively dating before that every person that i go out with i learn so much more about what i want in somebody qualities i'm looking for things that i like about myself things that i bring to the table like it is a very fun fascinating experience that being said um like you're gonna learn shit you gotta work on you know through dating it's just very insightful i would say but it was a great night it was solid fun good first date. We talked about like our 14 year old selves for a while and that was really fun to dive into. I think I'll see him again. We'll see. I've come to learn that things can change very quickly and just to be chill. <laughs> just be chill. Just be chill. I've had this like roster of four guys and this was the last one. So I'm like, you know, if this roster dies, well, I think I'm just gonna go back to my single era and put a pause on the dating era. Dating is so much mental space and energy that I I can't add anyone new to the bachelorette experience right now because it's just there's way too much I cannot keep focused on things that I need to keep focused on. It's a lot of mental physical energy so that's where I'm at with dating. I feel like that's all we've talked about this vlog so far. Today's Monday I am going to try to prepare for the week coming up today but at the same time it is hot and beautiful outside like I would say it's one of the last super hot days of the summer. Well, for the next three days actually. But I'm like, you know what? It's a long weekend, it's Labor Day. Do I go to my parents' pool and tan? Do I do it? I may. It is a holiday today, I may do it. But for now, for the next hour or so, I'm going to get a little bit of work done. That feels like 
the right thing to do. All right, it's been decided. We're going to the pool. I'm gonna head over there in like 20 minutes. It just feels right, you know? I'm gonna come home for dinner and then I think I'm gonna cook up some veggies and like prep some food for the week. It's been a couple weeks since I've had like prep veggies in the fridge. So I definitely want to do that. I have broccoli and cauliflower in the fridge. So we're gonna cook that up later, maybe some tofu too, but we're gonna go enjoy some sunshine, some Brady time and we're gonna have a good day. But I gotta tell you, my body is sore. Like it is sore from the spin class yesterday. There was some arm stuff and like I can really feel it. <laughs> but it was a really good time. Like I enjoyed it. I didn't think I was dying, which is good. I think I'll go back, like genuinely. Lee goes every week, so I don't know. I might have to join her. Normally I would say Sundays are not for working out. But you know what, I kinda had a good time. So anyways. Let's get ready. I am somebody that wears the same swimsuit almost all the time, in case you haven't picked up on that. We're throwing on the polka dot one. I just, I like to keep the tan line consistent. I don't wanna like switch it up. And this one gives me like the most minimal tan line. So I've just been wearing it every time I go to the pool. I have so many bathing suits. I just, I mean, you get it. Like, you know, we don't want all the different lines. Love it. I also should clean my room this evening. I should. I got a lot of clothes on the ground. It just built up so fast. Okay, Brady girl, can, can you dance for me? Good girl. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is so cute, Braids. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, she's having a lot of fun. Oh, she's over it. got home it's such a warm night like the perfect temperature oh my god I laid in the pool for hours one side of my face definitely got a little bit more Sun I don't know if you can see that but such a nice day I'm gonna quickly shower put on comfy clothes and preheat my oven and we're gonna prep some food for the week salt, pepper, yeah, uh, I don't know. I kind of throw on all of the seasonings. The oven's preheating to 425. I think I'll probably throw it in for like 10 minutes and then move it all around and then maybe another 5, 10. I don't know. I don't ever have exact measurements here. It's pretty much just what looks good and I just kind of keep an eye on it. I feel very like relaxed and calm right now after spending the whole day relaxing at the pool, like just very good peace. It's gonna be a very peaceful evening over here. I'm trading tonight as Sunday, so I'm gonna get into bed early, read my book. I'm actually getting pretty into it. Don't Let Her Stay is what I'm currently reading by Nicola Sanders. When someone inside your house wants you dead and no one believes you. It's good, I'm liking it. I'm like, I think halfway through now, super good. So I'm gonna read that in bed. I'm gonna have my veggies ready for the week, which is gonna make me so happy tomorrow. Just chopped up my tofu. I usually go for medium firm tofu, but this is extra firm. So we'll see how I like it. I haven't gotten extra firm in forever. We're gonna throw that in the pan with the Montreal chicken spice. This is what I always put in my tofu, literally just this, and it is so yummy. Yum. This is perfect. Tofu's over here, looks great. Actually, I've tried it. I've been dipping it into dip and it's really good. I still think I like medium firm better, but this is really yummy. I've just been sitting here waiting for that to finish and reading my book because I'm like, I'm invested now. 57%, it's getting juicy. It's gonna be a nice chill night over here. And then tomorrow I'm getting back to like my good shit. I like sitting hard cutoffs for myself. Like, you know, the last two weeks I've been very, very disorganized in my head and just not like 100% on my best game. So I've set my cutoff 
which is today. Tomorrow we're waking up, we're doing our good shit. We're getting into a good routine, just like trying to do the best that we can. But I'm going to enjoy my night over here and I will speak to you in the morning. Good afternoon, guys. It is 12.40. I spent the morning in the office just getting some work done. As I said, today I'm getting back to like my good shit, my good habits, making my bed in the morning, doing my skincare, just like taking care of myself a little bit better because when I'm really distracted with certain things, I let some things slide. You know, I'm a little too lax on myself, which is okay. Like everyone goes in waves and like, I don't, I'm not mad at myself for falling off a routine that I set for myself. Like it just, nothing's ever gonna be 100% consistent at all times. The goal is just to at least get back to things that you like doing for yourself when you can. And that's today, getting back on the grind, the good shit. My dad's actually coming over. We're doing more stuff in the backyard, which you will have seen if you watched the last video. If you haven't seen that, I'm linking it down below. Still a work in progress back there. Although by the time you see this, maybe we've done a lot, I don't know. We'll see. But before he gets here, I actually have some packages that I want to open. One of them is from Zara Home, so like more home decor. My favorite thing to buy, you know? I want to do a couple things, but I got 15 minutes. So we'll see what's realistic, but I am having my lunch. And then we will open up some packages. Okay, we have this big package from Zara Home. I also think it's possible my new office chair is coming today. After the last situation with Wayfair, I'm not like super trusting that it's actually gonna show up today. And if anything shows up at all, I will be concerned that it's gonna be not what I order. But you know, that's not gonna happen twice. It's not gonna happen twice. Wah! We will see, we will find out together if it's actually coming today. It says it was en route for delivery, so fingers crossed. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I ordered a little bowl. It's like a little bowl dish. Zara Home has so many really nice things. They definitely have some more expensive stuff, but it's not gonna be like Crate and Barrel CD2 pricing. I think this was like 30 bucks, which is, you know, somewhat comparable to like Target decor, but I think it, it like looks really nice. I don't know how to get this out. Okay, I ordered a vase. This is kind of expensive, but I find that any of these like nice kind of vintage -y vases are pretty expensive. Wha! Here she be. I got these things with the console in mind because I really want to have it looking cute down there. And I've never been 100% happy with the styling. And I think these are going to make a difference. Let's bring them downstairs now, actually. My dad's gonna be here within five minutes. I think this is too small. I can put this here. I have more of these stems too, so I think I'll have to bring them. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep that here. I have to bring the lamp back down, which is gonna go over here. So I don't really know about this other shit for now. That's gonna look good. Once I bring the other stems and put that in here, I think it's gonna look really nice. I like the vase a lot, actually. This is solid, that's solid. This, I'm gonna put the lamp back. This will probably go in my office, like on my desk, I'm thinking. I hear my dad coming in. I also gotta clean the living room because there's just stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. Okay, wait, that kind of looks good down there. Hmm, it's looking better. Hello. Hello. You need a hand with anything? Nope, thank you. Okay, he's assisting me with the lamp. I could do it, but. No, no, this is the last thing you do because you would be in a situation where it would be almost lights out like well no, I'd be if i brought it upstairs i could bring it down i don't know like all it takes is a it's a high risk move for you well thank you very much a long miss one misstep in your screw i know that would be a big problem whoa mm. i know it's actually not bad i thought i was gonna hate it more than i do with all the other stuff well it's definitely a unique piece to me it almost it's like too much weight i was saying when we were upstairs that i think i should get something kind of tall and thin versus the chunky, because it's it's too chunky chunky. I just don't know what else you would do with this. I don't know either, that's the one issue. I don't know where it would go. Yeah, there might be a spot you can put it, maybe even if you had a, like a little oh. sideboard down there. Yeah, that would be cute. Like in the corner. Once you make any changes at all, more changes inevitably will be made. That's what I'm finding. You start getting the pieces that you really like, like I really like what's happening here, and then this one doesn't work anymore. It's never ending, at least for me. Shall we? I forgot to bring my uh, little scooper too. I think my chair is here. Oh. Yay! It is so hot outside, it's like 90 something degrees. Thankfully it's shaded in the backyard, but we're gonna open this up later. But it looks like Wayfair got it right this time. So, happy for them. We open up the chair. 
Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to bring this upstairs. My chair. It's going to be so good. Okay, it's actually just past four. We're going to do the chair. I'm actually now a little bit worried that I'm not going to like it. I came back upstairs and I looked at it and I'm like, I don't know. It's going to be better than the current chair for sure, but I don't know if I'm going to be obsessed. Tell me I can post my video. Ugh. I hate on my upload days posting as late as it is right now. Like, it is not what I like to do at all, but sometimes it's out of my control and the brands just take longer to approve things. And then I just sit there, literally so anxious, waiting to hear back and just waiting to hear, like, good to go. It sucks, because then I get all these DMs like, where's the vlog? Is it still going out today? And I'm just like, it's going, but I also hate posting this late. Like, I just, ah. It actually gives me a lot of anxiety because the video's done. I'm just waiting for the 100% green light. Anyways, we're just gonna wait and there's nothing I can really do. So in the meantime, we're just gonna build our chair. This, in theory, is perfect. It matches this, but for some reason, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Tell me that's it, tell me that's it. No. What the fuck is happening? Like the wheels don't really want to stay. I'm just like confused. I feel like this is gonna be wrong. Like something's wrong here. Ooh. Okay, let's try the wheels again. What the heck? Now I'm like, these wheels don't want to go in. Nothing wants to work. I know these are non problems, but like I just. I hate when things are out of my control. Okay, no, I'm done. I'm taking a break. I'm gonna do a shower. I'm gonna shower off my anxiety. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going in, I'm coming out without anxiety. It's actually been like an hour and a half. I had like a long shower, I did a hair mask, and then I sat on the couch and I read until I heard about my video, which is now live. So I feel better. I also put the chair together. I shoved the shit out of those <laughs> wheels into uh, the base. And here's the chair. Like it might be great, but I don't know actually. Put in the replacement. I lost a wheel. Yes. Ah! I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Oh, I lost another one. Shit. Ah! The wheels are driving me crazy! It's not bad. I'm gonna sleep on it. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. It's not, it's not, maybe it's fine. Maybe I'm just used to the black chair. Maybe I should clean off the desk. Hold on. Okay, you know what? It's not bad. It might be great. I think I might just need to get used to it. It might just take me a couple days. I'm undecided. We will decide over the next few days, but also the wheel thing. Like I, I'm gonna have to figure that out. It's gonna drive me absolutely insane. I'm just a little concerned that the wheels are gonna fall off and I'm gonna crumble down to the ground. Not bad. I'm gonna have to figure out the wheels but that's a tomorrow thing. I'm not going into that now. I just don't feel like it. Anyways, it's 6.15. I'm going to make dinner soon, but until then, I think I'm gonna go back to the couch and do some reading because I'm super into my book. Like I'm at a point where I just cannot stop reading. I'm probably gonna finish it today. Actually, before I go down, I wanna put on some tanning drops on my face. Keep the summer glow alive. And I'm gonna use the Tan Lux face drops. I always start with moisturizer so I don't get any like weird <laughs> marks and then I just do a little bit like two three drops on the cheeks and I mostly rub it in just around the outside of my face kind of like where I put bronzer that's in the nose that's over on my fingers over my eyes nice okay let's dive into this book it's getting crazy I like don't, I don't know what's gonna happen I feel like there's gonna be a really big twist and I'm basically just waiting for it at this point and I'm invested don't let her stay I'm at 74 percent let's see one hour left oh I'm definitely gonna finish it today maybe even right now I finished it. It was crazy. I mean, the whole time I'm kind of like doubting everything. I don't trust anyone. You can't trust anyone in a thriller. That was a good book. That was really good. Definitely recommend. Now we're gonna make dinner, 740 something. I saw on Jill's Instagram story, she made this really yummy, creamy cauliflower gnocchi. And I'm kind of thinking I will maybe do the same. But hers was like a chicken, creamy chicken dish with artichoke hearts. I don't have that, but I do have my curry sauce. I have my veggies. Maybe I just make like a creamy coconut curry, cauliflower gnocchi kind of thing. That actually sounds really good. And I'm gonna do it. I cook the gnocchi. I'm gonna add some chicken broth. I'm gonna add my red curry sauce from Trader Joe's. 
and some coconut milk. I'm gonna throw in some garlic powder, curry powder, and then lastly, cayenne. That's not cayenne. Okay, I have my soupy gnocchi. This actually looks so good. Like I'm extremely excited. I did try the soup and it's delicious. Like it's so good. Soup season is approaching. I'm ready for the weekly soups to come back. It kind of feels like it was yesterday, but it also feels like it was a very long time since I've made a soup, like a genuine soup with the veggies and stuff. Mmm, mmm, oh my gosh. Bringing my like fall dish to the couch. It was 91 degrees outside today and I'm having warm soup. I love it. Anyways, bringing it down to the couch. Gonna watch and just like that because I've been watching that. Ah, I gotta get back into grays. I stopped after the shooting episode and then I watched a little bit of episode one of season seven just to make sure everything was good and there wasn't any like, you know, complications in between seasons. You know what I'm talking about. And I haven't watched since. Mostly because I was traveling a lot and then I just didn't get back to it. I'm gonna get back to it eventually. But the Sex and the City reboot is an easier watch. So I'm gonna put that on. Okay, it is 9.20, I watched one episode. I actually forgot that I'm already on season two. Like I'm almost done watching it. So I think I'll just finish that, then we'll go back to Grace. But my dinner was so good. Like that was delicious. I will be making again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna crawl into bed. 9.30 bedtime, I love that. And I was just talking to Jill and we have decided we're actually gonna read Every Summer After, which is the book that I had told her I wanted to read while we were at the cottage to kind of throw off the whole engagement plan. <laughs> Anyways, we've decided we're both going to start it together at the same time. So I'm going to crawl into bed and I'm gonna read it. Okay, so I started this. Uh, oh, oh, third book just came out. I saw I got charged with it last night because I pre-ordered a while ago. And I was like, what happened? I forgot, that's what it is. In, ooh, no, we're starting this one. I actually started it. I think I got a few pages in. Yeah, but I was delirious. There was one night a week or so ago um, where I literally did not sleep the entire night. I will tell you the story another time, but at some point during the day after I didn't sleep, I thought that I would try reading and that was not gonna happen. Like I have no idea what I read. Even just like scanning this, I didn't, my brain took none of this in, none of it. So we're gonna start with uh, page one that feels Right. I'm really excited to read this because I think I'm gonna like it a lot. I've heard it's very similar to Love in Other Words, which I was obsessed with. Like I loved that book. So I might not even like this book because apparently it's so similar to the other one. I don't know, we will see, but I'm gonna dive in. I'm actually going to end this vlog here. I don't even know what's happened in the course of this vlog. After this vlog, I'm keeping my head on straight with what I'm filming, what I'm posting, what I'm doing. And uh, at least that's the plan. We'll see what happens. But I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog, whatever the heck it was. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.